I think the place to start is what's going on in markets these days. It seems like uh, it's been down a lot, uh, maybe 4 or 5% off the highs. What kind of signal do you get economically from these gyrations in the market? You know, so far, Steve, I don't think there's any clear signal. You know, uh, it's hard even after the fact sometimes to attribute any given move uh, in, in, in markets. Uh, you know, year to date, stock market is up and there's some volatility. So I think right now there's no clear signal that I would take from it. Uh, we have several people who are coming on our air these days saying that the, this is the result of the market thinking the Fed is going too far too fast. Well, first of all, Steve, the Fed began hiking rates almost three years ago. Uh, and so uh, it's been a very gradual uh, cycle. Uh, you know, the economy this year is growing north of 3%. Uh, uh, Unemployment's at a 50-year at a year low uh, almost. Uh, and so I think also right now, you think of the policy rate that we set, the federal funds rate, is now just barely above the rate of inflation for the first time in a, in a decade. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with that. Do you see any signs that the economy is slowing? I mean, uh, are, are, you've been raising interest rates for three years. Yeah. Is it having an effect in slowing the economy? The economy this year, as I said, is going to be growing at a, at a pace we haven't seen in a, in a decade. Um, going forward, uh, you have to look at a lot of trends, including the global economy, I think, is something they have to pay attention to, some evidence that it's slowing. So I don't, I don't see that now, but I think broadly, we're going to set a policy that we think will help us achieve the mandate given to us by Congress. We've got a strong labor market. We want to keep that, and we want to keep inflation around 2%. November's right around the time you start thinking about forecasts for next year. Can you give us your outlook uh, for next year, both when it comes to interest rates and when it comes to growth? Thank you, Steve. You know, uh, the Fed will be going through our, our forecasting round at the December right. meeting. I don't want to front run uh, that. Into, no, okay. of course, okay exactly. Yeah, no, it, but in terms of rates, um, I think it's important to note that, as I've said, this process has been very gradual. I think that that served the Fed uh, well, if you look at the SEP projections that we released in September, they showed a range of views on the committee for continued adjustment next year, somewhere, some officials seeing two or three uh, hikes. And what I want to emphasize, Steve, to you and your viewers is, at least from my perspective, we're at a point now where we really need to be especially data dependent. Uh, the economy's doing well. We're looking for signals from the labor market, from inflation, to get a sense of both the pace and the destination for policy. So this is very much in data dependent mode right now. Is that a shift from where we were? Were we at a place where it was kind of like we needed to get rates up? Exactly. And have we now reached the point where we can I, I guess the best thing is, is sort of come through the woods and then sort of take a look around now? I think you said that very well. You know, I wasn't here three years ago, but, but three years ago, under Chair Yellen's leadership, the Fed decided that it was time to get away from zero. Uh, and I have to imagine that everyone around that table agreed that ultimately rates needed to be above zero. Those are emergency interest rates. And so I think in that point, data dependence was perhaps a little bit less relevant because there was full agreement to get the policy rate up towards a more normal level. As you move into the range of policy that by some estimates is, is close to neutral, then with the economy doing well, it is appropriate to sort of shift the emphasis uh, towards being more data uh, uh, dependent. I think Chair Powell the other day made the analogy in Dallas, uh, you know, about uh, you know if you're in a if you're in a in, in a dark room, uh, especially without your shoes on, you want to go a little bit slow so you don't stub your toe. So uh, I think that data dependence makes sense right here.